we're down six or seven feet now. So it's good age. And Coffin whiskey. Nothing home on it. This is Jack. Oh well. afternoon in Ariska, North Dakota. We're digging up what we believe was the privy behind where the depot once stood. The depot was built in the early 1880s. It stood kind of at the intersection of the road and the train tracks here. So far it's been a bunch of old ballast we must have filled the pit in with. It's kind of a nightmare digging through but I don't think a probe rider would have gone through this, so it can't be super deep. Use the hammer drill to get through the cap, so. First bottle, we're down about five feet. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We can see it, but here we go. That's good age. Look at that. Painter Distilling, uh, Dayton, Ohio, and St. Louis, Missouri. Maynard? That's about 1900. Well, that's a good start. That's a great start. Awesome. Two more bottles on the way out. Oh, looks like another whiskey and maybe a beer. Oh, sure. Good film. I'll on this one. Maybe it's a different brand. Cool top though. <laughs> We're down five feet. We have three or four bottles on the way out. I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Got a liquor bottle. You've never seen one of them before? I've never seen one. Well, this thing's loaded. Drug store bottle.
down almost six feet. Pulled up this German doll head. They got all kinds of stuff, mostly. You had to redo it, didn't you? On a bus, liquor bottles. <laughs> we got one, uh, Dr. Pierce's favorite prescription. Buffalo, New York. Historic event about to unfold before our cameras. Tom's surely gonna edit this out. This one might be Red Wing, broken though. Bags to dandelion bitters. Nice. Which way is the lettering? Looks backwards. Here's something new. Fargo Mercantile Company, Fargo, North Dakota. That is awesome. Some kind of extract bottle, I think. And about six, six and a half feet. Got a couple of crocs and stuff on the way out. We'll see how it goes. Oh. I just pulled this up, the ball band applied for. Never seen one before. I think it has a ground lip. We're getting into some really good age down here. We're down six or seven feet now. So it's good age. And... Coffin whiskey. Nothing home on it. This junk. Oh wow. Some kind of bean pot. That thing is cool. Your bean pot. Oh, some yeah, yeah. There's a couple other stoner pieces coming out too. No end in sight. Got three more beater crocs on the way out and a few more bottles. Maybe film it from right here, wherever you think's best. Here, put it over here, dude. Put it over here. Cool. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, actually, here, hold on. Might be a couple more. I think it's the original people pit, man. We're getting. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, I had to, man. seven feet just went into raw sewage I was finding some toilet paper well newspaper they used as toilet paper and it looks like they also used straw a few bottles on the way out here looks like a hainer a couple hainer bottles well, I've got one corner left a few bottles just came out one ABA Fargo North Dakota Hutch got some more bottles coming out here let's see Drugist bottle. 
this one's broken. Yeah. Looks like a whiskey bottle. Whiskey bottle. Huh. Tunneled it under a bit and found this Cold Springs Brewing Company, Cold Springs, Minnesota. See what else is in this pile here. Chamberlains. I'll have to dig through a bit. How we're done with the pit, it was eight feet deep, uh, eight feet long, three or four feet wide. Uh, mostly liquor bottles. Got some Crocs. Hutchinson bottles.